MicroRCX.com. It has a 51C3803 truck, TT Snake, plus a free Nitro RCX t shirt in this box. We're getting ready to unpackage this thing. Mr. UPS man just we're gonna see what we got in here. Let's see what it looks like. Without your good luck, Yeah. That's pretty good so far. Boxes all be done, nothing crunch, nothing like that. So we got it. Looks like they're almost complete. Let's see what's in here. Oh look, what you hear? Not only you send a T-shirt, but they also send you a free bag too. Hero uh, RC. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And as you open it up, it's got everything that you need to keep stuff together and organized. That's pretty cool. Many RC helicopters and cars built for champions. Find us at the block at Orange Mall. Isn't that cool? What you hear? Got an RC car, one man playing with. That is cool. That's a cool little bag. That we need to have a lot of some of my stuff with. Here, right here, is a Micro RC X T-shirt. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's pretty awesome. I like it. We got Micro RC X flyer. You got Micro planes, the RC planes. You got all kinds of good stuff. XLEs. Look at all that. Get an extra five dollars off coupon. That is awesome. Cool. Look at that. Always use the savings coupon, thank you. Sure can. Okay, let's take this. Looks like it's on this side upside down in the box, which is good. Because I would never have it like that. And we can take the box and flip it over. And maybe pull this one off it. Ta da! Oh, oh, I'll see you later. As it's facing me, and then the BP, cover TT Snake with the radio. It's RTR. Okay, here are the just the box right here. We'll get rid of boxes here. That is awesome. You see, RC. Of course, I've got it upside down for the camera bit. Here we go. Here we go, like this. You see, RC. Yes. So far, I really like my rock car. It's uh, right back here on the wall. It's a you can see RC one scale backdoor. I enjoy it tremendously. I have got the FT Maxes in the past, I still got one in the garage, and this one here, the FT Maxes I converted to electric. That seems to be pretty neat too, but I went with the cheaper electrics and the cheaper uh, parts and stuff. So it's got pretty well packaged in here, okay? That's pretty cool looking body. But it's got this box here, and it's like a C packaging brand, as you can see in the box. There's the truck. Okay. There's the top of the truck. Comes pretty well packaged up. Looks like you get, in this one over here on the side, looks like you get a radio. Get a transmitter right here, it's pretty nice, 2.4 gig. Uh, control modules here, you have throttle power, steering power, the trims, reversing switches, it all looks good with the on-off switch right there, so that looks pretty cool, that's pretty neat. Uh, it's a little bit different than my uh, MacBook controller, the antenna's a little different, which is good, and the color's just a little bit different. It's still takes four uh, double batteries inside the bottom, which is good. I'll set this over here, check it inside, and it looks like you get a charger down here. Uh, so I think probably have to get a charger. Yep, I know the rest of the uh, it's ERC stuff, which is cool, I like that. But I got no charges already, so that is an empty sackbox now. Okay, and of course you get your manual. Looks like you get a carbon fiber detail of some sort, along with some kind of a, I don't know for sure what that is. You get some chop stuff, some kind of a tube there for an antenna, it looks like. Uh, of course your parts manual, and some, I don't know what they are. But there's stuff in there that's very important, and there's some stuff right here that's pretty cool too. That's uh, some kind of, and the car looks like this, it's pretty cool, like you got a snake pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're gonna get this car out of here. Okay, let's set it up, let's go. That's pretty good with the car, it's packaged up, I'll get these stuff with the loads and packaged up, and that's pretty awesome. I'm glad I picked it up. I've got some lights coming, and LEDs coming, to put it on this car, so that's pretty cool. Some exceed RC stickers. Okay. Ah, right, let's take this thing apart. Looks like the wheels and tires are already tight. Look out there, the tires are already tight. Of course, it's not like that. Let me turn this box. Here, here's the RC. It's pretty cool looking. Body looks really nice. Uh, it's got a good graphic design. Looks like it's got a uh, place to mount the LEDs on the front bumper there. And also out back here, it looks like it's got a couple of different amounts of LEDs there, which is pretty cool. Uh, the snake body is pretty neat looking. Let's take this right off of it. For practical purposes, that's nice. Let's get that with. Keeps from getting all scarred up. Here is the snake body. It looks good in person. It really does. You got a couple eyeballs there, which is pretty cool. Kind of looks like this is what sold me on this infinitive was the snake body. Uh, I'm hoping I can find a replacement snake body when this one gets wore out because I really dig this scheme. This is really awesome. Probably won't be able to see the details in this, but I'll try to zoom in and bring it up close. It's really good looking. Now that you've seen all that, these tires look pretty neat. Uh, they look like they grip in pretty good just about every kind of surface that you'd need. Now, the thing that I've noticed is these things are stiff, and they do have air holes in them to make them, okay? You can kind of hear that, maybe. It does have the four shocks.
Botón back, puede salir, dale la esquina, puede salir el cero, 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 puede salir el because I've got six of them coming. I've got two white ones and I've got two blue ones. And I want those up front on it. And I've got two red ones. And I'll fit those back here on the bumper. So I'll just put me a hold of this bumper is spring loaded. That's pretty cool. Got a spring right there. Spring right there. It feels pretty stiff. I don't know if you can see this moving or not, but the bumper does have springs in it. Pretty cool. Spring loaded bumper front and rear. So it's pretty neat. It's kind of stiff. Shots. You got four shots per corner. Heat tank on the motor. You can hear this thing inside. It looks like it's a four-way uh, receiver. Yeah. It's a standard C waterproof, so it is waterproof. You got the SC here. Okay. Um, it looks like it's a waterproof SC. I'm not sure what it's going to say. We'll be going back. Yeah. You do a precaution here. Sir, short circuit, please always keep the connectors wrapped. So, sir, keep the connectors wrapped. You've got connectors yourself down anyway. And I'm looking for the jumpers in here. Here's my jumpers there. Okay. I got my team action version that's got jumpers on them, so you get a forward reverse and break them and go in that way. There's no jumpers on that. I do all that, so I'm hoping that it just factory sets with a forward and, and reverse, probably. We'll find out. Anyways, I'm going to put my hex fly battery in this thing, throw some batteries in the, in the transmitter, and we're going to power it up here in just a second. We've got our hex fly battery mounted in here, and we're going to power up the car. Here's the beat. He likes it, Jackson. Looks good to me. Now we're going to power this remote up. Ah, and it tells me it found the remote. I'm going to lift this thing up. Do it again. Hmm. Don't think it has a program to break into it. I got a light. Yeah, funny little light there. Not a bounce. Oh, yeah. Definitely doesn't pull the birds. How's it? Check it in. Yep. Very good. Might have a break on it. Very good. Yeah. Seems to work okay in the front room. It steers right, steers left, goes forward, brakes, and reverses. Okay. Thank you, NitroRCX.com, for the great deal. Thank you, UPS Man, for delivering. And I am happy. Y'all, thanks for watching. And have a great day. A couple things I've already done to this little truck. Okay, I've noticed that the antenna tube, the antenna tube thing was coming up right above the, the drive shaft. So your antenna would actually rub on the drive shaft. So the first thing I've done was moved it over to the side. The wiring for the motor from the ESC and to the battery was all tucked in between this brace and the ESC down inside here which would eventually probably get into the drive shaft also and it rotating would cause some kind of conflict. So I moved them using the hole that the antenna tube would go through and, in, and the antenna would pull through. I'm, I moved them out of that area and I zip tied them right there using that hole. Now that doesn't make it any cleaner looking but it does get it away from harm's way and that's just stuff that you have to look for whenever you get a brand new RC. You just want to look at those things and make sure that uh, everything looks clearance um, for your liking. That's for my liking. Now other people probably just go ahead and do it the way they had it from the factory and that's fine. I'm sure it probably would not cause havoc but I've seen videos where antenna wires and other wires have actually rubbed on a drive shaft and actually cut the drive shaft in two. So and then people have to replace the drive shaft. Well I don't want to have to replace this drive shaft after a couple of days of playing with it so I'm gonna check into that stuff. So thank you YouTube on that. No knock against uh, Exceed, no knock against Nitro RCX but it was just one of those things of my preference of, of doing. It is still a nice little vehicle. Uh, the things that I don't care for so far with it is how much slop I have here in this front end. I don't like that aspect of it. Uh, I was noticing uh, on both sides it really slops back and forth and one side is actually really loose versus the other. 
I don't like that part of it. So it is a lesser valued model. I'm sure there's upgrades that'll tighten that up. I could probably upgrade it all to aluminum and things like that, which I've seen in the parts book that come with the manual and all that. They do have aluminum upgrades for these vehicles. I would suggest that if you're going to really bash with it hard, that, you know, that you do the aluminum. This here is just more or less just a backyard basher. I'm not going to really take it and, and run it too hard. I'll probably do a few ramps with it, a few jumps with it, play with it in the backyard and up and down the rock leg and stuff like that that I got. And it'll work. So thanks again and have a nice day.